Hi, welcome to Grand Canyon National Park. My name is Rachel Funk with Grand Canyon Conservancy. I'm a five foot, six inch tall female. It's a beautiful sunny day and I'm standing on the rim with the colorful rock layers and car formations of Grand Canyon behind me. Is this a place where you could imagine sharks? How about giant dragonflies with wings a foot in length? Or wet swamps covered in ferns? It's hard to imagine finding all of that in the desert, isn't it? To see those things, we would have to travel back into deep geologic time. And my friend Ranger Taryn is here to help us do that. Hi, I'm Ranger Taryn. As you might be able to tell by my uniform and hat, I'm a National Park Service Ranger. What a great place to learn about geology and ancient environments. The Grand Canyon is one of the few places on the planet where you can look a mile down into the earth and see the Earth's history told in the story of rocks. And what a story they have to tell. The Grand Canyon we see today took millions of years to be created. Take a look at the canyon with the different layers of rocks. You can tell the layers apart by their different colors of tan, red, green, black, pink, and so on. Each rock layer was created at a different time in Earth's history when the environment here looked very different. The rock layers have clues to what the environment looked like millions of years ago. Since people weren't around when the canyon was formed, how did geologists know what the environment looked like? Fossils. Fossils are the preserved remains or traces of animals, plants, and other organisms from the past. Not every living thing becomes a fossil. It takes just the right conditions for it to happen. Here we see a fossil coming out of a tan colored rock. I'm seeing lots of ridges on it. What does that remind you of? This fossil looks like two animals to me inside of a dark black colored rock. The rock feels pretty smooth, but the animals are sticking out of it. I wonder if those animals are similar to any we might find today. This third fossil is at a greenish, grayish colored rock. The fossil is a lot longer. It looks almost like roots of a tree or maybe even a bowl of pasta. Fossils are found in sedimentary rocks and show us what lived at another time. Sedimentary rocks are made over a long period of time out of what was in the environment, mud, sand, debris, and dirt that built up over time. Let's take a look at one of the sedimentary layers found here at Grand Canyon, the Coconino Sandstone, and see what secrets about the past its fossils might tell us. Can you see the tan layer of rock just below the rim of the canyon? It really stands out, doesn't it? It looks like a bathtub ring along the edge of the canyon. That's a sandstone layer. What does its name tell you about what it was made from? If you could rub it with your fingers, what would it feel like? Millions of years ago, there used to be giant sand dunes in this area. The dunes were so extensive, they stretched from Arizona up into Montana. What kind of plants or animals do you think would have lived here when there were sand dunes? Over a lot of time and changes due to the climate and geologic processes, the sand dunes were eventually turned into solid rock like you see here. Here's a fossil from this layer. Those small dents you see on the tan background are animal tracks. Based on this kind of fossil evidence, geologists believe that the tracks were left behind by an animal that may have looked like some kind of mammal-lizard mix that had adapted to living in a dry environment. This is what the ancient environment may have looked like. The environment would have included mostly large sand dunes with small areas where plants might grow, perhaps similar to some sand dunes you might see today. Paleontologists, people who study fossils, think that the tracks left in the sand are from this mammal lizard animal going up the side of a dune. Many ancient environments have come and gone over time. Swamps, sand dunes, oceans, inland seas, 
leaving their fossil clues behind in the beautiful rock walls of Grand Canyon. Fossils show us what used to live in the past. By comparing fossils with what is alive today and what we know about different environments, we can get a feel for what the Earth looked like millions of years ago. Think about where you live. Has the environment changed over time? How could you find out what it looked like many years ago? Thanks so much for joining us today. Be sure to check out our online geology activities and explore the geology in your neighborhood as well. Check out our video on ecology coming soon. Bye.